I listened to the governor of Maryland today on the on the television. He's doing a heck of a job. I'm pleased to report the past week we've seen the first time vaccinations in America go up by four million people getting back four million shots. That's more than we've seen in a long time. I want to thank the governors. I listened to the governor of Maryland today on the on the television. He's doing a heck of a job. Democratic governors as well. Republican governors. They're getting the word out. We've got 70 uh, seven percent, nearly 78 percent of our entire population uh, is vaccinated and uh, 90, 94 almost percent of our seniors are vaccinated. As a result, we have some of the lowest infection rates, lowest positivity rate, lowest hospitalizations of any state in America. And 100 percent of our hospitalizations uh, and deaths at this time in Maryland are people who are unvaccinated. So today, we again uh, are, are pulling out all the stops to get those remaining 22% uh, of our folks vaccinated. I can't speak uh, for the governor of Florida, but uh, I can tell you we've taken a completely different approach in our state, which is, you know, while we're concerned about the Delta variant, you know, we had about, uh, you know, 500 cases on Friday. I think they had 21,800 cases. Uh, we've got about 300 COVID patients in all of our hospitals and they have uh, 10,000. Um, you know, we're at some of our lowest points in the pandemic uh, and they're at the highest point in the entire 18 months, both on cases and hospitalizations. So I, I would say, uh, you know, we're gonna stick with the approach we've been taking. I wanna plead with uh, those folks that are out there uh, that are listening to, uh, you know, crazy uh, misinformation that they need to get vaccinated. It's the only way to stay safe and, and keep our economy and, and uh, rolling. Hey, I'm Sean Morrow, host of the Now This podcast, Who Is? You might remember me from those annoying ads you were subjected to at the end of videos for like two years. Who are the people that run the world? Um, things have changed a bit since I last saw you. You know, pandemic, insurrection, Emily in Paris getting nominated for a Golden Globe. But I'm still trying to figure out who are the people who run the world. On Who Is, the podcast, we examine power through the stories of the people who have it. From mercenary forces, to the big businesses controlling your food, to a hedge fund manager who basically holds countries for ransom. To tell these stories, we bring in cool guests from people you've heard of, like Stacey Abrams, to people you haven't, like law professors digging into police union contracts, and reporters following the money that flows from the donor class to the politicians who supposedly represent all of us. Two seasons, that's 32 episodes, are ready for you to binge. And we're back for season three, where we'll look at the giant corporations that might ruin weed for everyone the organizations who ensure police aren't held accountable for misconduct, and the wealthy interests who are fighting to keep America sick and unhealthy so they can, you know, make money off of it. Look for Who Is, the podcast, on iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. That's Who Is, the podcast.